Vital MT beers. How insane was the Andorra World Cup DH this past weekend? The course, the weather, the racing was incredibly close. Danny Hart had the world's most wild looking run, taking third, followed by Loic Bruni, who had the most casual, eh, I'm gonna go to 7 Eleven and pick up a Mountain Dew kind of run, just 0.33 behind Danny for fourth. Throw in Aaron Gwynn on a pretty loose attempt in fifth, just 0.12 seconds. Quite a race for bronze through fifth. Now for the battle between Greg Minar and Troy Brosnan. Greg had a killer run going. He's riding the 29er and posted a considerably fast time, 2.2 seconds faster than Danny. He had some bobbles toward the bottom of the course, but I don't think a lot of people thought that would have mattered. That left Troy Brosnan, the fastest qualifier, left to go with all the pressure on his shoulders. Troy dropped in, blasted the run. He looked aggressive, but never really too out of control. And the splits were too close to call until he crossed the line with the clock green. Troy won the race by 0.22 seconds over Greg Minar, grabbing his second career World Cup win. And 0.22 seconds is not a lot of time. And Greg Minar seemed to give the race away in the last two sweeping corners. That's what he thought, at least. To me, it was about today. and I think I rode everything pretty good except for the last two grassy corners, and I feel like that's where I lost the race. We want to know if that's true, so let's do some ghetto analysis of the last two corners of Andorra to see if Greg lost it there and Troy won it there. Red Bull is kind enough to grant us access to some of their live feed footage so we can do our best guesstimations. We're using poles that held up the course tape as the start and end of our time sector. Both riders enter the turns with some good pace, but Greg is the one who apparently slips up, going a bit wide and late on both corners, the right and the left. Troy is patient, but clearly on it. In the end, using our video analysis with a frame rate at 30 frames a second, basically, that means every three frames of video is worth about a tenth of a second. Greg finishing 0.22 back means he's about seven frames off Troy's pace. It takes Greg nine seconds and seven frames to get from pole to pole. It takes Troy nine seconds and two frames. Those missing five frames are just a tick under the 0.22 second margin that Troy won by. <laughs> Mind blowing. If Troy and Greg are going about 15 miles an hour when they cross the finish line, that's 22 feet per second. Troy won by about a quarter of a second, so we're talking five and a half feet. Troy won by five and a half feet. That's all it takes, a bike length. Troy, Greg, you guys crushed it. And the speed that all the riders are carrying out there keeps us glued to our seats and our screens. Hit up Vital MTB for all the results, videos, pit bits, and slideshow goods from Andorra. And stay tuned for the next round of World Cup Chaos dropping this week with a race in Lenderheide, Switzerland. Yoo!